Hello, today we are going to discuss about a successful advertisement example. You are now looking at one of the most influential and iconic advertising campaign in the history of advertising, although its simplicity. In the first look, we see a minimalist approach consists of a little black car with shadow located in the focal points on a flat texture grey-white background and at the bottom a title called Think Small and some explanatory text in a bit humorous approach and Volkswagen logo located in the right bottom. It seems like the things make it successful which are a minimalist approach having only black and white colors using the negative space efficiently and effectively locating the little car in the focal point. This successful advertisement called Think Small is the most famous part of a big advertising campaign launched in 1959 by Helmut Crane, who was working at Doyle Dane Birnbach agency those days for Volkswagen Beatles. But of course, there are more than the physical factor for this advertisement to be successful, such as a strong backstory. The image of the car, which is the icon of Volkswagen Beetles, seems kind of a different than other cars in that time period. When we consider about 1960s atmosphere in the USA, they are the times which are the peak of common perspective, that is, bigger is better. In the cultural context, Volkswagen Beetle is a rebellion against the order and cultural norms of the period. Furthermore, it was designed in Nazi Germany. In view of all the factors, it was too hard to hype and market this car. In that point, Helmut Grant focused on providing as much information with examples from the American daily life as possible to the reader instead of persuading the reader to purchase a product in the textual part. He represented wisely also what he had explained in the text by using the balance between the little car and white space and the simplicity, smallness, safeness and economical of Beetle thanks to the minimalist approach successfully. It caused this advertisement to become a symbol of the minimalist advertising moment. In addition, the use of black and white photography in the advertisement also played a significant role in the campaign's success. By stripping away color and focusing on the car's unique design, the advertisement conveyed a sense of originality and honesty that resonated with consumers. Finally, the use of the Volkswagen logo is a signifier of the brand behind the campaign. The logo features a stylized V and W, which is recognizable to many viewers as a symbol of the Volkswagen brand. The logo helps to reinforce the credibility and authority of the campaign as well as connected it to the broader goals and values of the Volkswagen brand. In the light of all those clever moves of Helmut Kron, after a few years, Volkswagen Beetle won a great victory against the norm of the period and became a part of American social life. The success of Helmut Kron can be explained by his high understanding capability of emotions and reactions in people and moves according to those. In this sense, according to the diagram of the categorization of knowledge emotions by Paul Silvia, at first sight to this advertisement, people surprised because of the style of the advertisement and then are confused and ask why the car is so small and why there is only black and white colors. Finally, while they read the texts, they start to be interested in the car because they are getting information and decrease the unfamiliarity sense in order of focusing.